Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of King of Hearts, this is part number 52. Game's so loud, I don't understand, this game just feels like it's so loud all the time. But without further ado, we're here to do the Colosseum one more time, which means I just need to go and I need to get uh, Sora some items. That's all, I've realized the Colosseum is not that bad. Just carry a bunch of Mega Elixirs, Mega Ethers, Mega Potions. And when everyone else dies, so can bring it back to life. And we can win. Easy peasy. And that's all we need to do. But without further ado, let's get into it. We need to go and do the Hades Cup. Just because we're still doing the Hades Cup. And uh, we just need to go from the 30th floor. And when we hit the 20th floor, we'll be fighting Cloud and Leon. A.K.A. Squall. A.K.A. I don't know why his name is Leon. But it's anyway, it is Leon. And uh, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, as they say. Plus, we're leveling up as we go through the Colosseum. Oh, as we go through the Colosseum battles. Because we get experience for every enemy we kill. And tech points. And every other kind of point. And that, of course, makes us slightly stronger by the time we reach uh, Leon and Squall. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to beat Leon and Squall pretty easily this time. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the support. You don't know what it means to me. It makes me very happy. And I'm very, very, very happy and impressed that... I've seen such an amazing growth from my viewers in the last few times. Lots of comments now, which is super nice. And just general happiness playing the game and uh, making content. And it is something I would like to do full time and professionally, but you know, for now it's a hobby. And even though I don't, I'm not doing it full time, it is what makes me happy and what makes me uh, excited to play a game again after a week of hard work and uh, stress and agony. And like, yeah, I'm gonna get on there. PlayStation or the computer or the weekend, play some games, have a good time. And uh, yeah, so I'm very, very excited, very, very happy, um, enjoying Kingdom Hearts right now, um, playing some Terraria Journey's End. Um, eventually, we're going to get some new games on the channel, unfortunately, due to COVID 19 and finances. No new games for a while, but you know, we'll make it happen eventually. <laughs> we're saving up, we're making it happen. Um, one of the main reasons why the two links in the description are below are there is so that I can get new games to put out new content on my channel. Um, on my Patreon, the there is actually a link where you can literally request a game. Um, how it works is you pretty much become a patron for X level, and with that, with those funds, I use it to get the game and play the game. And let's play a full let's play on the channel. So I'm saying, if you guys want to see a specific game, go check it out. I think it's always like a very nice one because I know myself when I watch certain uh, YouTubers back in the day, but now that I make content, I watch way less. I would, I was always like, oh, I really wish they would play this game or that game, you know, my favorite game this type thing. And there's even some Twitch streamers that I still watch that I'm like, yeah, I really wish they would play um, Persona 5, for instance, because I think Persona 5 is a great game. And I'd like to see the reaction to a lot of the things that happen in that game and everything about the game. So um, that's why I decided to have a patron tier for that so that if people wanted to see x game or y game or any game for that matter they could simply just go there become a patron and then request that's how it works that's how easy it is there's also a monthly gaming poll where we uh, have a poll for a bunch of games and people can vote on it and uh, if you vote for the game you want and uh, it wins then there's a let's play that game for 30 days on my channel so it is kind of complicated because then if the let's play has not ended in 30 days or in 30 days if I'm not completed the game then uh, it has to win another book to continue on. That way it kind of keeps uh, the, the viewers linked in and make them, make them feel like they are part of the system. Getting to select what comes out and what they, what they choose. That is unfortunately no one on those ranks yet or no one uh, voting or no one uh, who is qualified. So not yet but you know maybe one day. One day we'll make that happen and be able to uh, make it more interactive with the viewer which would be really cool. But for now, we are just here to play some Kimmy Hearts, kick some butt, and beat this Hades Cup. Not expecting it to be too hard. Every 10 round, ten levels, we fight a boss. The boss is kind of strong. The boss gives us a little bit of trouble. And then after that, it's pretty chilled for 10 rounds. Fight a boss, and then struggle. So as long as we keep heals for the boss fight every time, we should be fine. Don't give items to Goofy and Donald, because they're just going to waste it. Only give Sora items, so Sora can just bring people back once they die. And then uh, everything should be pretty straightforward from that point on, honestly. So these rounds, like I think, are just here to help you build up mana and skill point abilities, because the rounds aren't strong enough for you to like actually struggle specifically, which means you pretty much are just trying to uh, just trying to net net some uh, bonus mana and uh, rewards experience from this, kind of like a leveling up way. So if you can't beat the 
boss on the 10th level, 10th area if you will, then the game allows you to uh, grind up kind of while you try and make your way there again and give it another attempt, you grind up a little more. Every time that you try and fail, you grind it up a little bit more, etc, etc, and then hopefully one day you'll grind up enough, be a high enough level with enough ability points and skill points and damage and all that to, uh, I assume, be the boss. Very, that's a very fun fancy type of mechanic, I feel. Um, but yeah. Oh no, not another shock nado! Not the shock nados! I hate them so much. You don't understand. The only thing I hate more than the shock nados is the pink monkey. Because uh, the pink monkey makes no sense in my brain, and I hate it, and I wanted to die, pain agonizing death. Mainly because I can't kill it, that's why the big problem comes in. Once I'm pretty sure once I figure out how to beat the pink monkey, I'm going to be very mad. Because it's probably going to be something very simple. Still have not figured out how to beat the scorpion, but you know, that's life, I guess, as they say. So I learned Vortex! Heal! Okay, I don't. I think there's one more round before Cloud and because uh, that was round 22, yeah, 21, and then no. See, I don't know. It skips 21. It skips to 21 on every level. Okay, kill Squall first. Kill Squall first. Just kill, kill, kill Squall first. It's that simple. If we just kill Squall first, easy peasy. Okay, now we get back. Now we get back, and then we got item, Mega Potion. Everyone gets healed up, and then we go back to score, find score, and beat him up. Nope, we're gonna get found by Cloud every now and then, that's okay. Don't use your freaking limit break score. Nope, nope. Score's using super ultimate sort of center. Get back, run away a little bit. Alright, um, Mega Elixir on everyone. And we go, we must go full mana. Strike, raids all the way, because they are super good. And they destroy. Yeah, I think we okay, almost got spoiled taken care of. Get away a little bit. Oh. Oops, wrong button. I turn mega potion. I need you guys to not target me right now. Okay, we almost got score taken care of. Like I said, if we can get take care of school, we can then take care of. Oh my god. Dude, school, I'm gonna get you, and when I do, you're gonna regret. No! No, 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 why would you do that? No, 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 I didn't mean to use item. I didn't mean to use the item, I didn't push use item. I. Ooh, the game's gonna make me very mad again. I did not push use item, I pushed use the fucking raid attack. Are you kidding me, game? Let's make you, uh, instead. Let's make you do uh, uh, Adam. Yeah. S uh, Squall is two shots from dead. Two shots from dead. You used raid twice, which would have killed him. But instead, I think I'm gonna make you use Adam. Yeah. You're gonna use Adam, and you're gonna get stun locked after use, and you're gonna die, and then you're gonna lose, and that's gonna be the end of the fight. Congratulations, you lost because the controls are bad once again. Which is 90% of my deaths in this game is due to bad controls in this game. I specifically attacked fucking Squall, I was right next to him and then Squall was like, I'm gonna pop a potion. Oh look, I got hit three times because I was standing right next to Squall, which I, which my controller, the person controlling the buttons and the game said attack and I chose to use a potion. Yay! Oops, game over. I wonder why. Mystery game over. I wonder what caused the game over. Do you guys think it might have been something to do with the fact that instead of, uh, Using the uh, po uh, attack like he said, I decided to use a random potion. Because I decided to push a button that wasn't the button that was inputted. That my, uh, the uh, game over. Again. For the, like, 20th time in this game. Because every single game over I had in this game has been due to this. And not one game over in this whole game has been due to the actual game. Beating me, ever. Yep, that sounds about right to me. Literally every single game over, if you go watch the let's play and you watch Nothing every time I go on game over, it's because I've inputted a button push while doing something and the game has not done what I've told it to do and it's instead done something completely different and because it does something completely different, I lose complete control of my character because usually when the character doesn't do what I said, it usually follows up with my character getting hit, getting stun locked and getting killed. That seems to be the pattern I'm noticing about uh, Kenny Hearts. Stun locked killed after button inputs not being correct. 
Seems about right. But 90% sure that is the exact thing that happens. Actually, I'm 1000% sure. Also, raid sucks. Don't use raid with uh, Sora and Squall. It does your damage. Rather just attack. Attacking does more damage. Oh, I get so mad. That was such an easy win. We were literally about to like two shot spawn. Once we kill Squall Clouds, no problem because we can just dodge roll attack. Dodge roll attack because we've done it before. All we needed to do was just fucking. What's my call it, dude? So frustrating. That makes me kind of mad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I get actually a little bit frustrated with that. I just don't like it when games uh, controls aren't really clean. I want clean, good controls. That's all I want. I don't think that's asking much either. I think that's actually a pretty... No, I definitely, definitely do not want to attack the big guy. Definitely do not want to attack the big guy first. We'd rather kill off the small minions so I can fight the big guy mono a mono. Just saying, game. And I mean, I know that's a little bit crazy. A little bit, I, don't, I know most people, what they do is they instantly attack the main big guy and let the small guys attack them forever in the background and uh, make it a 10v1 fight instead of a 1v1 fight. But I get that. I get that, but I'm not like most people. I'm a little bit different. You know, I like to uh, take out the little guys, and then there's just a big guy all by his lonesome, and then, oh look, he's by his lonesome. He's useless because he has no support team. You know, it's kind of like when you play any online game. If you fight someone 1v1, one one, it's going to be or 5v1 or whatever. If you outnumber them, it's usually easier than if they outnumber you in general. Not saying always, but in general. So it might be prudent idea to... Why are you running away from the old one? Stop running! What the fuck was that damage? What the fuck was that damage? Okay, you cannot just spam this charge ability forever, dude. Dude, you, you legitimately cannot just spam a charge... You cannot just spam a charge ability forever. Game. Game. He's not taking any damage at all and he's just spamming a charge ability. Hello, game. Game. Your game is glitching again. Hello? Enemy is literally spamming the same ability over and over and over while taking zero damage. Hello, game. Game. You made a critical error once again with your controls and your game mechanics and everything about the design of your game. You made an enemy invulnerable to damage and spam one ability again. Kind of a mistake you keep making where you keep making enemies immune to all kinds of damages and make them spam one ability. Kind of like the weaker fight. Hello. That's, not, that's kind of not how the game works. The only time an enemy is allowed to become immune, mortal and spam damage infinitely over is when I can become immortal and spam damage infinitely over. That is it. If I cannot become immortal and spam one ability, you may not become immortal and spam one ability. It's a, it's a good deal, I think. I think I can keep it a little bit more fair that way, you know? Okay. Can someone please tell me why there's no 21 or 31 or 41 or 1? There's never a 1 number. The 1 number has disappeared. It does not exist. It's just, it goes straight from 22 to 20. It went straight from 32 to 30. And it went straight from 42 to 40. So something somewhere is wrong. Something somewhere is wrong. Okay, one more round and then it's the Cloud and uh, what's in them fight. So I think I want to heal just before we finish this fight. So kill the little guys, 1v1. The big ship. Take out the shock nados because they are super annoying. I do a lot of damage, but I die. Kind of the problem is I do quite a bit of damage. I feel until I fight like a boss, then I do like zero damage, and then make it. Oh, I wanted to make it so bad. Oh, I didn't know the time. Okay, it's time for cloud and score. This time we're gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. This time we're gonna do it. Attack score first. Attack score first. What the fuck, Squall? You can't just instantly attack me in a second. This fight starts. That's not cool, dude. I hate, actually, the fact that it seems I become, like... Oh my god, dude. Item. Mega Ether. Okay, let's go. Okay, he's gonna get his big sword out. While he gets his big sword out, hit him up. Okay, be careful he doesn't one shot us with his big sword! Oh, my team is dead. I didn't realize my team was dead. Okay, good. We got our team back before... Before I died, which means we should be fine. Okay. 
there. Look at HP. HP is a little bit low. Be a little bit careful. Oh my god! Oh my word. That, what was that damage? No, Squall. Fuck off. Just kill Squall. He's so close. I can taste the kill. I can taste the kill. Why did I do that? I know that's a bad idea. Oh! No, I'm dead. Oh, I debated. Oh, wait, Squall's dead. We got Squall. Easy peasy. Now it's just cloud. That's just cloud. Easy. Easy, guys. It's just cloud. Guys, relax. Cloud, relax. Relax, I said. Relax on me. Completely balanced gameplay. Completely balanced. 100%. One hundred percent balance gameplay, right there. Beautiful, love it. Absolutely love it when games do that. That's my favorite game mechanic. Favorite game mechanic in games. Seventy percent HP. Up, oh, you got one shot it. One shot it from seventy percent HP. Congratulations. Doesn't make sense that you could die from one shot from across the map with seventy HP while having two members of your party alive. <laughs> we don't care. It happened. Seventy percent HP. Two death. One shot. Busy casting heal, two teammates fighting the enemy, enemy jumps across the entire map ignoring both of your teammates and one shots you from 4 HP. Normal. Very normal gameplay right there. Seems pretty normal to me. This game's difficulty is really bad. It's really, really, really bad. The reason it's bad is not because the game's hard. The game is not hard at all. It's just the curve is stupid. The game, it's like certain things are insanely overpowered leveled. And other things are insanely weak and useless. And there's zero, absolutely zero, correlation to how the game decides what is what. There's nothing. Go look at all the other rounds, no problem. Suddenly Cloud and Leon, way broken overpowered. Way completely broken overpowered. Just out of the blue, for no reason at all. Just like that. Just, okay. We know it uh, makes no sense at all. We know that there is zero reason that it should be like this, but we're just gonna make it like this anyway. See, I can't buy Mega Potions. I cannot buy Mega Elixirs. I cannot buy Mega Ethers. They do not exist. So every single time I use them, every single time I die, I run out for the rest of the game. There's nothing else to do in the game because I've done everything and gone everywhere. So the only thing I've left to do is the Colosseum, but I can't do the Colosseum because I die in the Colosseum. So I'm stuck in a situation where I can't do the Colosseum because I'll die. I can't do... I can't go to the game because they're going to miss content because there's missable content in this game as well. I don't know where the fuck to find the last of these postcards. I can't beat the pink monkey because the pink monkey is broken. It's like sees you from a gazillion miles away no matter what you try. And also uh, is actually a glitch... or not a glitch. It's like a trick thing. Like Because we googled it, remember? And Google said that the monkeys will infinitely spawn and if they see you, if the monkey sees you, they infinitely spawn monkeys for the rest of the game, non-stop, forever. It never ends. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get any uh, of the other stuff in this game. I'm literally lost as to what I'm supposed to do in this game now. I don't know what to do or where to go or how to play the game at all, at all. Because nothing I do works and nothing I do does anything. So I'm just sitting here like, what do I? Where do I go? I can't beat the Colosseum. It's impossible. I run out of items. I can't grind any stronger because there's no grinding spots to give enough experience to grind. It would take literally multiple, multiple of hours uh, off camera, which I don't want to do, obviously, because I'm very, very restricted on time to record. I don't know how to make a gummy ship, so I can't make a better gummy ship to the gummy ship uh, challenges. Or because I can't, it's not about making a better gummy ship. I have a very good gummy ship, but you need specific types of gummy ships that do specific things. It's really awkward. I don't know where the last two puppies are. I'm assuming they are maybe here on the game. There's a shit ton of sun and hello bastion. I think I still haven't done or solved, so I can't do that either. Okay, let's go look at the commit section. Okay, so here you go. Um, I don't understand how my YouTube decides comments. Like one is two days ago and the other is like lots of stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't know about the waterway puzzle. Sorry, but I think the deal with that chest at the start of hello bastion is that it's the same one you summoned with the white trinity. Since the symbol was in the little pond, just about the, where the chest is. I don't know. I looked it up and that was the only thing mentioned about that particular spot. You're going to enjoy some of the later game and the mobility options so much. Okay. 
Thank you very much for that comment. Very, very nice comment. Unfortunately, it doesn't help me much where I want to go next. Dude, the comments, my comments are broken. My comments are actually broken because there's literally comments just missing. I actually have comments just missing. Like, there were comments made, and now this is two days ago comments. And now... Now it's just... Now those some comments are just absolutely gone. So it's like those two days, two two days, one week, two weeks, one month ago. That's my comments. Excuse me, YouTube. Do you not even know how to run a comment fucking option thread in your fucking creator studio? You literally just make comments that show every comment ever made, and then I can click on them and scroll through them. It's it's not. It's really not that complicated. I'm I'm just saying. It's really, really not that complicated. Just show me all the comments. It's that simple. It's it's literally that simple. Okay. Um. Ba 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 ba. Oh, told you. Most adorable saw it. Yeah. I figured you were probably going to rage on this one. It was most people consider the hardest boss. I don't know if that's including the secret bosses. I'm sure this is referring to the weaker fight. I think whether or not it's fun depends on your perspective. Though. I thought Anson was a good guy. You have no idea how much of a loaded statement that is and how many spoilers it would give away to try to explain. So don't! I will tell you though, if you go back to the library, you might find some things out or not. But it'll be worth it anyway. If you're willing to be a conversation starter enough times, those scenes before and after the battle are as well as the one upcoming are perhaps the most important scenes in all looking arts. Okay, I don't know what that refers to. Okay, sweet. So library and Hello Bastion. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to Hello Bastion. Library. Thank you, comment section. I appreciate the support. Before I get actually mad at the game because of bullshit, I'm going to uh Do what my comment section says and go back to Hello Bastion Library. To the Hello Bastion Library, thank you very much for the support, by the way. Uh, all of you guys watching and supporting, there are quite a few of you now that are commenting on Kingdom Hearts, I really appreciate it. Um, once again, a game I was just never going to play. Convinced by a friend of mine to give it a try because he said it's kind of Final Fantasy and I was waiting for Final Fantasy 7 because I wanted Final Fantasy 7 and I, I cannot get Final Fantasy 7 unfortunately due to financial reasons at the moment. So he was like, tracking hard. It's a super special running. It's really, really cheap. And uh, you get all the Kingdom Hearts games. So I was like, well, you know, you make a good point. It's like $30 and I get like six or five games and like two movies or something along those lines. I don't know. Can't you remember the exact stuff? Okay, so library is through there. Puzzle I cannot solve is through there. Let's go this way. I was going to try the puzzle again. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm, should I give the puzzle another try? Ether, nice. I mean, you're gonna level up here quite a bit, right? So this is kind of like a two for one special. Not only are we gonna get a bunch of uh, level ups and experience, we're also gonna get um, what's we call it? Some uh, atoms, which is good. I mean, obviously I'm strong. Look, I'm destroying the monsters in Hello Bastion right now, absolutely demolishing them. They don't stand a chance. But then I go fight Cloud and Squall, and then I'm on 70% HP and I get one shot. And then I'm like, well, okay, I guess I was on full HP and now I'm dead. Uh -huh. That's it. That's the end of the game. GG. I hate it when you guys cross thunder that I cannot hurt you. I think it's stupid and broken and needs to be adjusted. I mean, you, I mean, it's fine if they, like, let's say they cast in thunder like they are, right? So now they cast in thunder. Now, make it that if I hit them while they're casting thunder, for instance, then I take thunder damage. That's fine. That actually makes some sense a little bit, you know. But do not, for the love of God, make it that if they cast thunder, they become immune to all damage. Stop making things immune to all damage, game. It's not complicated. Why is everything in this game immune to fucking all damage? I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. It needs to stop. You need to stop. Keep it hot. You need to stop making enemies immune to all damage. It's just bad game design. It's just really, really, really bad game design. Look at this guy. He's glowing, and for some reason he seems to be immune to all damage. Why? Explain to me the law behind it. I want to know the law. If you tell me the, if there's law reasons why these enemies are immune to all damage, I'll be like, okay, you know what? Fine. There's literal law explaining 
why are these enemies on mutual damage? I got it, okay? I'll give it to you. But do not just make them immutal damage by casting thunder. They're casting a magic. If you are channeling, isn't that when you're at your most vulnerable? Because you cannot do anything because you're channeling? I mean, that makes sense, right? Right? I mean, to me, I would say if a mage is channeling magic, then a mage should be at their most vulnerable because they cannot defend themselves. I'm just saying. This is just my personal opinion. I'm not saying it's the right opinion. It's just my opinion. And make Cloud not hit me for 70% HP at one attack, please. That would be great game. Library. Hello, library. I need to find something here, apparently. Apparently, I missed something in the library. According to my viewers. My very lovely, lovely viewers. Hello. Lovely viewers, what did I miss in the library? See, I don't mind that. Like, if you come to me and you're like... Uh, oh! Why is Aerith in the library? What the fuck? Hello, Aerith. Oh, while I was editing this, I realized that this was that... This is the same place that uh, the granny was sitting here and Kairi was talking to the granny. Aerith, what's up? Hello, Aerith. So, you should read this. Read what? Oh, <laughs> it's the rest of Anson's report. Maleficent must have clicked through it. Anson's report number two. Answer report number four. Answer report number six. Answer report number ten. God damn. Okay. I guess we're gonna do it. <sighs> I wasn't really in the mood to do it, but okay. Answer report number two. It is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiments. Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate darkness in a pure heart. Both suppress and amplify with darkness within. The experiments cause the test subject's hearts to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fragile our hearts are. My treatments produced no signs of recovery. I confined those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Sometime later, I went below and was greeted by the stranger sight. Creatures that seem born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they be the shadows of those who lost their hearts in my experiments? The heart has appeared to appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non-living samples. They responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who have lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the heartless become heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I am, must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence. How, they, how to communicate with them? It just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? No shit, dude. To study heartless behavior, I picked one out of observation, it wiggled its antenna, and as if sensing a target, headed deep into the castle. In the deepest part of the castle, the antenna began vibrating, as if searching for something. Suddenly a strange door appeared, and I never, I had never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole, but it didn't seem to be locked, so I opened the door. What I saw on the other side mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? A massive core of energy laid beyond the door sought by the Heartless. It may be, it may well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis based upon my observations of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on others' hearts, and they yearn for that energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart, too, the heart of this world. There is no proof, but having felt that immense energy, I am certain that was the heart of the world. The Heartless are take, trying to take hearts not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they mean to do with the hearts of the world? I am now studying material from the meteors that rain down that fateful night. What a find! The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I have scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when, the, when I opened that door? I wonder how many other mat such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. 
simply astonishing today i had a guest from another world he is a king and his vessel is built of the material that composed the meteors he called the pieces gummy blocks it seems that my opening that door has opened a path to into a travel world we talked for countless hours but one story in particular caught my interest that of a key called the keyblade the keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power one legend says this wheel will save the world while another says that he wrought chaos and ruin upon it i must know what this keyblade is a key opens doors and must be connected to that door i have opened just as people have hearts so do worlds the same can be said of the stars in the night sky and deep within each world lies a door to its heart the heart is desire those hearts born out of the darkness in people's hearts they seek to return to a greater heart yes that is it the heartless come from people's hearts as does the darkness is the core of the world's heart the world of the heartless i will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing my path is set i shall seek out the wielder of the keyblade and the princesses my body is too frail for such a journey but i must do this i will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness yeah okay i did it now what i did it yo Aerith. what now anson disapproved when this world fell into darkness it was believed he de died defending peoples from the heartless but anson was the one who brought them here Hello. Anson waits in darkness, but he has a light to protect you, Sora. Obtain the power of healing. Oh my god. Oh, it's the best day of my life. Oh, this is so good. Kuraga, baby. Full heal. Ba I'm, I'm assuming it's a full heal, let's be honest. So now. I don't need to heal Sora twice, we can just heal Sora once. More? Do you have more? Read a report and you understand Ansem's intentions. Anything else? I believe the worlds can be restored, they are still alive. Okay, anything else? I, okay, nope, she repeats. Cool. Squall! What's up? This was once Ansem's castle. He was widely respected as a wise man, but darkness took him. He began experimenting with people's hearts. Ah, some wise man, so much suffering and ruin. And for what? We thought this was Maleficent's doing, but she was just another puppet of the darkness, just like Ansem. The dark darkness is our real enemy, but how to beat it? I don't know, dude. How the fuck? Put a light on, I don't know. Well, first things first, let's purge every last heartless we can find. Yeah, sure, dude. Sure, I'll just go kill every heartless in the whole game. I won't use my real name until this world is restored. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why! Just call yourself Squall, dude. It's fucking weird when you say Leon. Ooh, 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 guys, guys, guys. <gasps> I think we found Bow! Oh no, I just realized my mic was muted. I do not know how long I'd be muted, guys. Oh, please, for the love of God, say I was not muted while I read Ansem's entire reports out. Please, for the love of God, say I was not muted while I read Ansem's entire reports out. So many books, but not one on how to banish the darkness. Maybe it's hopeless. Oh, if, I, if I was muted while Ansem's while I was reading Ansem's report, I'm done, dude. I'm done. Ansem's desire is the darkness. He thinks it's the source of all power. What nonsense. Darkness may shroud light, but it can never extinguish it. Hmm. That's a good point, I guess. So, don't succumb to the darkness. You can. You and the Kyrie can defeat it. I love Baal! Baal's my new favorite. So, don't. Okay, so she's repeating. Sweet. Where's Beast? There's Beast uh, over here. Beast? No? Okay, cool. Thank you for telling me to go back to the library, by the way. Holy shit, what a great, what a great trip this has been. Ants and Maleficent were both possessed by the darkness. You know, I just don't get it. What's so great about the darkness? I don't know, Yuffie. You're too happy and awesome to know. This is my home, but it just doesn't feel like it. I don't remember much because I was only a kid. 
Uh, you actually know your home is Wuhan, but anyway. There are no Heartless here, so rest up. We've got to get rid of the Heartless, and we built this world. Okay, sweet. So she's repeating. So everyone's repeating. And I got Kuraga and Divine Rose. And Divine Rose is amazing. I actually am so shocked Divine Rose is better than Oblivion. That is shocking for me, honestly. But I guess you get it, you would get it off the Oblivion, so it makes sense. I want to test something. Oh, I thought I could maybe lock onto this where it's dripping water here. And maybe like freeze the water. Anyway, I think there was like secrets here that I couldn't get last time. Like like chests maybe. Or something? Yes, okay. What am I locked on? Yes, okay. Magic Rabira. Force. I actually kinda need to run through the whole of uh Hello Bastion again, oh no honestly. Oh more puppies! Oh this episode just got a million times better off the cloud and score. Fuck! Entrance hall. Wait. Mm. No, 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 no. Just no. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna fight them. Fuck that. I'm out. I'm out. Let's do a little bit more exploring because I'm gonna edit this episode quite heavily, so it's fine. It's fine. There's a chest on the other side I saw. Did you guys see that chest on the other side? I saw it. I saw it. We're gonna, we gonna go get it. It might be the final puppies. I'm just a 100% gamer by heart. Like, I, I... It's like, I know it's not necessary, but I honestly, like, feel sometimes that if you don't 100% a game, honestly, what is the point of playing that game, you know? Like, if you're not 100% a game, you, you're just losing so much content and gameplay and stuff in the game that, that, that remember that people someone made this game right so you need to respect them and actually like exp experience all of it because if you don't experience all of it then that poor person that went through all the effort for what did they do it you know Ramubal okay if it Ramu and Shiva bots okay I get it Ice lighting up fire. Okay, so this is a dead end. That's good. If it's a dead end, we know. Then we know we don't have to backtrack through it. So that's fine. Somehow, though, I do need to get to the other side of the lift. Now, to do that, I think I need to activate something here. So this lift goes the other way and not this way. But I don't exactly know how to do that. God damn it, Hollow Bastion is such a big place, man. It takes so long to solve and um, explore. I need to switch somewhere that changes this to not go right and to go left instead, but I don't know where to do that. Okay, so we can't go here. So this is done. So basically, this section is done. This only leads to a dead end. This is a dead end. So that means we never ever have to come through Act 3 here again. We are done here. This is done. We know that now. That's great. Okay, um, I think let's end the episode here. Next episode, we'll spend the whole episode exploring Hello Bastion and like solving it and grinding it up and stuff like that. Like 100%. We're 100% Hello Bastion. We get it done. We get it done. We take care of it. We like we complete Hello Bastion, right? Then, then I don't know. Cause then I'm like, I want to back. I want to beat all the mini bosses and secret bosses in the game, like the Scorpion and stuff. But I also don't want to backtrack a shit ton and run through every area again when there's nothing. So I don't want to like, cause that's just going to waste time. I don't mind doing it off camera at all, but I don't want to do it on camera because it's just like not enjoyable content in my opinion. But so what I might do is like run through every world and just like edit. Like, okay, so I get to the Alice Wonderland's world, right? And then I run through Alice in Alice Wonderland's world. And then I'll cut out Alice Wonderland world if there's nothing in it. And I'll just show me going there. And I'll be like, well, we're leaving. There was nothing in this world. Or I just show the relevant parts, like where we find secrets or something along those lines, maybe. Um, and then we go to the next one. We do it through that. Because I'm like, I know there's secret bosses in Monstro and the Scorpion and Aladdin's world. And um, is there any other secret bosses? Oh, really? 
I think that's all. There was a secret boss in Halloween time. We beat that one already. I don't remember any secret bosses in the Little Mermaid area. No secret bosses in Peter Pan area either that I remember. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. For now though guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of King of Hearts. A little bit frustrating. Scrolling Cloud. Just getting knocked down from 4 HP to death from 70% HP when I was on the complete opposite side of the arena. Goofy and Donald were both alive at the time and he was fighting them. At least I thought so. And I was busy in the healing process to use Omega Lex to heal Goofy and Donald and myself to full. It's just it's slightly frustrating to get one shot like that. But it happened. You know, maybe I should have just gone more aggressive. I, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done differently. But I think we can do it. I think just grind out like maybe a couple more levels. Get like 10% more Axe HP on Sora. Uh, maybe a little bit more damage. Maybe use some of our damage ups and AP ups and uh, things like that. Reset our abilities a little bit. And then I'm pretty sure we can take on uh, Sora and uh, take on Cloud and Leon pretty easily. But Cloud and Leon are the second final fight because obviously there's going to be around 10 fights and I'm assuming around 1 fight potentially. So there's still at least 2 more bosses after that might be even stronger. So something to keep in mind. But we'll talk about that next time. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. We have seen amazing growth and I really want to continue. If you guys want to help me do this full time, please consider looking at the two links in the description below. You don't have to, but if you want to, check it out. Donate to me and stuff uh, directly, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Sell out, I get it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. More Kingdom Hearts.